What is frequency response of common emitter amplifier? The frequency response of a given frequency dependent circuit can be displayed as a graphical sketch of magnitude that is gain against frequency f. The horizontal frequency axis is usually plotted on a logarithmic scale while the vertical axis representing the voltage output or gain is usually drawn as a linear scale in decimal divisions. Since the system gain can be both positive or negative, the y-axis can therefore have both positive and negative values. In electronics, the logarithm or log for short is defined as the power to which the base number must be raised to get that number. Then on a board plot, the logarithmic x-axis scale is graduated into log 10 divisions. So every decade of frequency Example 0 0.01, 0 0.1, 1, 10, 100, 1000, etc. is equally spaced on the x axis. The opposite of the logarithm. The opposite of the logarithm is the anti logarithm or anti log. Graphical representations of frequency response curves are called board plots. And as such, board plots are generally said to be a semi logarithmic graph because one scale x-axis is logarithmic and the y-axis is linear. Then we can see that the frequency response of any given circuit is the variation in its behavior with changes in the input signal frequency as it shows the band of frequencies over which the output remains fairly constant. The range of frequencies either big or small between FL and FH is called the circuit bandwidth. We are able to determine at a glance the voltage gain in dB for any sinusoidal input within a given frequency range. As mentioned above, the board diagram is the logarithmic presentation of the frequency response. Most modern audio amplifiers have a flat frequency response as shown. Over the whole audio range of frequencies from 20 Hz to 20 kHz, this range of frequencies for an audio amplifier is called its bandwidth that is BW and is primarily determined by the frequency response of the circuit. Frequency points FL and FH relate to the lower corner or cutoff frequency and the upper corner or cutoff frequency points respectively where the circuit's gain falls off at high and low frequencies. These points on a frequency response curve are commonly known as the minus 3 dB, that is decibel points. So the bandwidth is simply given as bandwidth BW is equal to FH minus FL. The decibel dB, which is 1 by 10th of a bell B, is a common non-linear unit for measuring gain and is defined as 20 log 10 A where A is the decimal gain. Being plotted on the y-axis, 0 decibels, 0 dB corresponds to a magnitude function of unity giving the maximum output. In other words, 0 dB occurs when V out is equal to Vn as there is no attenuation at this frequency level and is given as V out by Vn equals to 1. Therefore, 20 log 1 is equal to 0 dB. We see from the board plot above that at the two corner or cutoff frequency points, the output drops from 0 dB to minus 3 dB and continues to fall at a fixed rate. This fall or reduction in gain is known commonly as the roll off region of the frequency response curve. In all basic single order amplifier and filter circuits, this roll-off rate is defined as 20 dB per decade, which is an equivalent to the rate of 6 dB per octave. These values are multiplied by the order of the circuit. These minus 3 dB corner frequency points define the frequency at which the output gain is reduced to 70.71 percentage of its maximum value. Then we can correctly say that minus 3 dB point is also the frequency at which the system's gain has reduced to 0 0.707 of its maximum value. 
frequency response minus 3 db point that is minus 3 db is equal to 20 log 10 into 0 0.7071